Marson's Domain. Hey everyone, Marson here. And today I want to talk about something that maybe a lot more people know this than I'm thinking, but I think this is actually kind of a problem. And this all has to do with global matchmaking. Because so far, I've had a pretty good experience doing global matchmaking for boards. And I think the way it's set up, it's nice and simplistic. However, there's one detail that I think is getting overlooked. And it's kind of a shame in my opinion, because I think there could be even more fun with this global matchmaking. And that is the fact that you can actually search for more than it seems like. Now again, maybe a lot of people know this, and maybe I'm going to get comments saying that, how in the world does he not know this? But you can actually change the amount of turns you're searching for and the types of bonus stars there are. And what's really interesting about this is when I was streaming the game, I think I had mentioned I wish I could do classic bonus stars for global matchmaking. And people in my chat started telling me that I could. So I was like, all right, well, when we're done with this, I'll go there and check. And sure enough, you can. And when I talk about it now on stream, I get people that are like, wait, you can search for more options? So the reason why I'm making this video and why this is a problem is because I think this is getting overlooked to the point where we're kind of stuck with the default options. Because the way this works is it's just going to try to search and find other people that are searching for what you're searching for. But since it seems like a lot of people don't even know that these options are there, they're not searching for these. One of the times I tried changing these options, it wasn't finding anyone and it only found one person that was in my stream because they must have had the same or similar search options as me. And they were the only person that it found. And it actually started the game with just me and them. And I actually want to use this as an opportunity to talk about a nitpick I have with the matchmaking because you cannot back out once you start searching. Unless if I am just totally missing something, once I start searching, I cannot back out and I have to close the game. And I actually just tried it again while I was recording this just to make sure, and yeah, you cannot back out of it. So the reason why I wanted to bring this up now is because if you're trying to search for a different type of game that's not the default, you can't even really test it out and try different combinations to try to see if you can maybe find people a little bit faster or find anyone at all, because you can't even back out. And I think this is kind of a problem that goes even deeper than this, because someone could join a game and before it starts, realize that they kind of have to go, try to back out, realize they can't, and then they're probably just going to quit when it starts. But I don't want to get sidetracked. I want to stay on the main topic, which is that I really wish these options were more obvious. Again, maybe a ton of people have seen this, but with the way that I don't seem to find any matches when doing this, I'm really starting to feel like a lot of people don't know that this is an option. And even if more people are figuring out that this is an option, I think there's such a delayed reaction to people trying this out, since there's people like me who have tried it and now I just don't really bother because I can't find anyone, that if someone finds out that this is an option now, they're going to go try it, but I'm already not trying it. And I think there's this weird, I don't know if you'd call it snowball effect, but it's like, I found out it was an option, I couldn't find anyone. So now I'm not using it. I mean, I'll probably still try, but just for the example, I'm not using it now. So now someone else finds out it's an option. They could have found me potentially, but I'm not searching for that anymore because it didn't work for me when I tried it. I think this could have been remedied if they just placed this somewhere on the main page or if they didn't want to do that because I could understand because when you're looking at the boards, there's a big picture of the board. They could have just had it that when you select the boards, you just go to another option page and I'm kind of surprised they didn't do that because now I really feel like this is what's created that problem of being stuck with the default rule set, 15 turns and the default bonus stars. Because I would imagine that I'm not the only one that likes to play with the classic bonus stars. So I feel like there's a good chunk of people that would be searching for that, which I will say I like to play with the classic bonus stars, but being almost forced to use the default bonus stars, it's kind of nice that it gives me an excuse to try them because it just adds a different type of spice to the game. But the bonus stars I prefer are the classic ones. So it's just a shame that if I do try to search for that, I'm probably not gonna find anyone. So this video is to bring awareness of those settings and to just talk about how I wish they set it up a little bit differently. 
because I really do have a lot of fun doing global matchmaking for boards, but it just kind of sucks that I'm pretty much stuck to the default options. I think they could have also fixed this a little bit too if they had less options. Maybe only having three different turn counts could have been better than having the five because you got to figure you have to be searching for the same thing someone else is. So maybe you're both searching for classic bonus stars, but if you have different turn counts selected, it's not going to find a match. And it would have to match up with the board you have selected too. So there's a lot of variables to this, but I think the fact that it seems like a lot of people don't know about these tucked away options, that it makes it much harder to find any different types of matches for global matchmaking when it comes to the boards. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. If you want to stay up to date with my videos and live streams, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. I live stream right on this channel. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Take care, everyone.